Hey, can I encourage you with something today where there's a situation in your life that seems impossible or broken? Can I just encourage you that when God is involved, it can change like that. It can change from hopeless to plot twist where victory is for the righteous and good prevails and the wrong get their justice and evil gets punished. That's the moment of Esther's story that we're in. Now, remember for Mordecai, Esther's adopted dad, he has lived for decades in this city where he's a foreigner, Jewish people are looked down on, his whole life he's been waiting for a plot twist. He's been praying for the Messiah, believing for the Messiah, and the plot twist is coming right in this moment. Now remember, yesterday Esther finally makes her request. It's the third thing she asked from the king. Would you spare my life and the lives of my people? There's been a plan to annihilate me and everyone from my nation. Verse 5, the king said, Who would be so preposterously bold as to set that kind of plan up against you? Verse 6, keep in mind, Haman is sitting right there by the king. Esther replies, This wicked Haman, she points at him. He's our adversary. He's our enemy. Haman grew pale with fright before the king and the queen. Now, tomorrow we'll pick up on the king's response. But I just want you to use your mind's eye, use your imagination to visualize this evil guy who's got this big ego and all this wealth, and he's just delighting in the downfall of God's people and in murder. And in this moment, boom, he's lost all of his power. He goes pale with fright. And I'm telling you guys, on that third day when Jesus rose from the dead, that is exactly how Lucifer and all the fallen angels, the demonic realm, felt. And in Revelation, I want to show you tomorrow when they're going to be cast down, and then we'll pick up in Esther's story. But know this, whatever evil you're up against in your life today, a Esther 7 verse 6 moment is coming when that evil force will turn pale with fright as it realizes, oh, death, where is your sting? Death itself will die, we're told in the New Testament. Satan and all his evil forces will be cast into the lake of fire. And every evil force in your life will have a moment when it faces the unflinching power of Almighty God who will set things right. So live in faith today. I'll see you tomorrow.